A very common question is, how much do I pay each month when I loan a certain amount of money for a certain amount of interest, right? So let's buy a car. We are going to buy this uh, $33,000 car. We are going to pay this off in three years at 6% annual interest. Excel has the function PMT payment for that. So is PMT. And the first thing we need to do is the rate, which is 6%. But we have to divide that by 12, the number of payments that we make each year, because this is an annual interest and we're making payments per month. So it's interest per payment, right? Six divided by 12. Then the number of periods is three years times 12 payments per year. And then we need the present value. And the present value is the amount of money we are going to borrow, which is $33,000 for the car. And then we close it. Now we get a negative number. We have to pay $1,000 a month, but it's negative. And in a way that is correct because it's money flowing out, but usually you want a positive number here because it's just easier to read. The best thing to do is just make the 33 negative and then you get a positive. So we need to pay $1,003.92 a month for this car. Let's build an amortization table for our loan. I created a table here, month principal interest and balance. And let's start with the calculation of the interest. The interest equals the balance times the interest rate. And here we need to be careful because when we're gonna copy this, uh, we need an absolute reference here. So we're gonna press F4 and then you see the dollar signs, which means that this doesn't change. We always have a reference to C7 and that's what we want. Then we divide it by 12 because we're doing 12 payments a year we press enter and there you have it. The interest here is $165. Now let's calculate the principal. The principal equals our monthly payment that we did with the PMT function. And again, we need this reference to be absolute. So we are pressing F4 again and then minus our interest, enter. So this is our principal and then our balance is the balance minus the principal. So equals the balance minus the principal. Enter. And what we see here is the three calculations that we need to make, right? Okay, and now we can just select this and copy it down all the way until we are at 36 months. And at 36 months, we can see that our outstanding balance is zero. So we paid off this car in 36 months, which is great. Here you go, your amortization table. Now let's take a look at an example of a house. We want to buy a house. So we are doing some exploration, right? Um, we have a 360 month loan, which is uh, 30 years. And we have different options in interest and different options in the amount we are going to loan. Now let's see how that works. If we are using the PMT function, because we want to see how much we are going to pay per month in the different options. Then the first question is the rate. Well, the rate we are getting from this, from the second row, row number two. So we need to make sure that there's an absolute reference to the second row. We press F4. And again, and now we can see that there's a dollar sign in front of two, which means that we are always referring to the second row, but not the column. So if we go to the right, then column C will be selected, which is a good thing. We divide this by 12. And then we go on to the period. And the period is always 360. So we're going to make that an absolute value for both the columns and the rows, press F4 one time. And then the present value is the amount we are going to loan. This is the opposite of the percentage. So now we need to make sure that we are always in column A. So we press F4 again, 
and one more time. And now the dollar sign is in front of A. You could also type it in front of A, but I like the F4 option better. Now we close this, we press enter, and we see a negative value because again, it is money flowing out. So you could keep this negative if you want to. Most people like it better if it's a positive value. So again, you can double click or press F2 and just put the uh, minus sign here and then press enter and we have a positive value, which might be better for a lot of people, right? Now we can copy this down and we can copy this to the right. And here we can see all the different options that we have. So if there is a 6% interest rate and we are borrowing half a million dollars, well, there's a huge payment per month. But if we have only 2% and we loan $200,000, we have to pay $739 a month, which is still a lot of money, but this includes interest and principal. It doesn't include anything else. So it's just an indication, right? So you don't have insurance and everything. You could do that too. You can make a different calculation or extend this one, but this gives you an overview of how much you need to pay based on interest per month, which is a great calculation and nice thing to see what the possibilities are. So that's it for the PMT function. PMT, the payment per month or per period, if you like.